On Thursday, the Confederation of African Football, CAF, praised the Egyptian national team, which defeated its Cameroonian counterpart on penalties, 3-1, in the semifinal match of the African Nations Cup, which was held at the Olympic Stadium in Cameroon, and Cave said through his account on Twitter. The Pharaohs snatched the victory from Yeond, and the Joys shake Cairo after Egypt qualify for the African Nations Cup final. Mohamed Abu Jabal allowed, he continued, they came from Cairo al Mos to support their warriors. Exceptional celebrations between the players of the Egyptian national team and the fans after qualifying for the final. Mohamed Abdelmonam, the defender of the Egyptian national team, who won the title of best player in a match, described it as the safety valve of the Pharaoh's defense, and said of the Egyptian national team goalkeepers, anyone who thought of attacking their den came back as a loser. They are always on time. Mohamed Abu Jabal described it as the wall of the Egyptian national team that led the pharaohs to cross to the final of the African Nations Cup after he saved two penalty kicks and said, The days are passing, and the stability of the mountain is not shaken by the wind. Kaf commented on a video of the players' celebrations and said, The weddings are dancing with the Egyptians. The pharaohs led one of the nights of 1,001 nights after qualifying for the final. It is noteworthy that the match witnessed a lot of protests from the Egyptian team against the decisions of the match referee, who declared the red card of the coach of the Egyptian team, Carlos Quiroz. The two teams resorted to penalty kicks after the end of the regular and extra time in a goalless draw. Mohamed Abu Gabal, the Egyptian goalkeeper, saved two penalties and Cameroon missed the third kick outside the goal, while the Egyptian team scored three penalties. The head of the Cameroonian Federation, Samuel Edo, and the former star of his country's national team, had sparked a wave of controversy by saying that his country's semi-final match was a war. The Egyptian team will face its Senegalese counterpart in the final, led by Mohamed Salah, in the face of his colleague in Liverpool club Sadio Main. The Egyptian and Senegalese teams are also scheduled to meet in the 2022 World Cup qualifier. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi congratulated his country on the victory and said on his Twitter account, I extend my sincere congratulations to all Egyptians after the rise of our national football team to the final match of the African Cup of Nations. He added, While I congratulate the heroes of our team and their technical staff, I would like to pay tribute to their fighting spirit, high performance, and unyielding determination. He continued, The players have proven that Al Masri is capable of making the impossible, challenging any difficulty, and reaching his goal, with God's help. Thank you. You have made us all happy, and your country is proud of you.